Well, we have bad news for Toyota lovers who especially own Vinza. Owners of Vinza might already know the problems they are facing because this model first came into existence and it's been around a decade, but the reviews of this particular model are not up to the mark. If you're still thinking of buying this model or have a dot size interest in it, you should watch this whole video as you'll be thanking us for saving your money and time. You're watching Tech Addicts, your only place where authenticity is transparent. Moving forward, without any further delay, let's get into today's video. To take the kids in luxury and style to soccer practice, consider the Toyota Venza, a two-row SUV. It offers a choice of hybrid powertrains and a panoramic roof for breathtaking vistas on the open road. Since its introduction in 2009, there has been a steady supply of automobiles. There are a few Toyota Venza model years that are best avoided, but there are also some outstanding options. If you're in the market for a Toyota Venza, you should know which model years to stay away from. On the road, some of them perform better than others. Using co-pilots, you may find the worst years of the Toyota Venza and choose the best one for your budget. You may rely on us to quickly locate the car of your dreams. Simply put, you shouldn't buy a Toyota Venza from 2009 through 2021. And to talk in more detail about why you shouldn't go for them, well, the Toyota Venza has been on the market for a short period of time. It's true, though, that some years are better than others. Don't buy a car manufactured in 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, or 2021. Fixing these may demand time and money you don't have. Among the Venza's most common issues are its interior and exterior accessories and rotors. Find out which model years of the Venza to stay away from if you want a trouble-free ride, and expensive maintenance eats away at the return on your investment. So where can you find reliable pre-owned Toyota Venzas? We only endorse two model years of the Venza as reliable pre-owned options. These will provide you with the most power for the least amount of money. In case you're looking for a pre-owned Toyota Venza, keep an eye out for these, the 2014 and the 2015 models. These are the greatest we've seen for this particular model. In terms of complaints and difficulties, they rank dead center in the rear. The drive and value you get from the 2014 and 15 models will be the highest relative to their market price. There are, of course, still concerns that have been voiced about these models. The 2014 Venza had issues with the air conditioning and the engine. The 2015 Venza experienced issues with the body and the air conditioner and heater. They aren't perfect, but they're better than the other Venza years, which had a lot worse problems. Which pre-owned Toyota Venza models should be avoided? There are a lot of great Venza choices, but you should stay away from certain model years. Neglected for too long, the expense of maintenance can add up, and the vehicle may become unsafe to use. So let's take a look at the list of Toyota Venza model years to avoid based on information provided to us by our friends at carcomplaints.com. The 2009 Toyota Venza, the 2010 Venza, the 2011, the 2012, and 2013 plus 2021 Venzas as well. The Toyota Venza's worst effect is a malfunctioning interior accessory. This issue isn't as pricey as engine or transmission problems, but it can be annoying and worsen with time. The worst examples of this are found in the 2012, 2013, and 2021 models. When it comes to Toyota vehicles, the 2009 Venza had the most complaints. Major difficulties included things like faulty steering, broken interior accessories, and broken engines. The automobile had its worst year, though, in 2018. Brake problems, faulty interior accessories, and shaky steering were all complaints from owners of the 2010 version. The 2011 Venza has problems with its handling, its outside accessories, and inside ones too. If you can help it, avoid purchasing any of these models. Can you see the ratio of the hit and the flop on this model? When compared to other midsize SUVs, the Venza's reliability rating of 4 out of 5 on RepairPal.com is above average. But in spite of this, there are a few things that you, as a Toyota Venza owner, should be aware of. Some of the most common issues with the Venza include damage to the sunroof, moonroof, and other interior components, as well as a generally shoddy build quality. Those are the most common complaints about the Venza's cabin. Plus, there are problems with the steering that have been reported by a few consumers. There were reports of whining and drifting as the vehicle turned. And then we have defective brakes as a common problem with older vehicles. Others said they had to pump their brakes to bring their vehicles to a halt. Do you think the Venza monthly fees are too high? The expense to repair a Toyota Venza is astronomical. The estimated cost to fix the car is $5,652. Buying a Venza is easy, but maintaining it will make you regret the fact that you bought it in the first place. So, are you still interested in this model? You probably aren't, right? 
Let's talk a little bit about the new 2023 Venza now and compare it with the 2023 Honda CRV to get a better insight. When shopping for a car, you can't go wrong with Toyota usually or Honda. While both the Venza and the CRV Hybrid are respectable vehicles, the former is clearly superior now, thanks to its 84 out of 100 score for quality and dependability. Furthermore, they are comparably efficient. The Venza achieves an average of 39 miles per gallon combined, with 40 miles per gallon city and 37 highway, while the CRV Hybrid achieves 38 miles per gallon combined, with 40 city and 35 highway. The Venza has 28.8 cubic feet of cargo capacity behind the second row, while the CRV offers 33.2 cubic feet. If you're looking at specifications, the Honda CRV is a safe bet, but Venza may come out on top when it comes to insurance. Coming up next, what is the hybrid system of Toyota and how does it function in Toyota's hybrid cars? When it comes to hybrid vehicles, Toyota is unrivaled in the auto business. The introduction of the Toyota Prius more than two decades ago was the catalyst. The legendary hatchback proved that hybrid cars may be both reasonably priced and popular with buyers. After that, Toyota added many more hybrid models to its catalog. And when it comes to hybrid cars, Toyota has the largest selection. The Toyota Hybrid System has been the beating heart of Toyota's hybrid offerings for many years. Each Toyota's hybrid model has its own unique arrangement of the Toyota Hybrid System's components, but they all share the same core components, an electric motor, a gasoline engine, a power control unit, a power split device, a generator, a battery pack, and a unique type of transmission to send that power to the wheels. The Toyota Hybrid System automatically switches between gas and electric power, maximizing economy and all conditions. Conditions. If a Toyota hybrid car is traveling at highway speeds, the gasoline engine takes a larger share of the power output. Battery charging occurs when the gasoline engine is running. The Toyota hybrid system may run on electric power alone for brief distances, resulting in zero emissions driving and stop and go city traffic or other low speed driving scenarios. Brake regeneration technology is standard in Toyota hybrid vehicles. This makes use of the energy released during braking. Well, that's going to take us to the end of today's video. We hope we helped you distinguish between the bad older versions of Venza compared to the newer one, which doesn't seem to be so bad, at least so far. What do you think about the comparison of Venza to Honda CRV? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And again, we ask you that you please like our video and make sure you share with all your friends and family and fellow auto fans who are in your inner circle. And if we can ask you one more favor, friends, please make sure you subscribe to our channel by pressing that bell icon. Doing that allows you to be notified immediately of the latest uploads we have on our channel and you want to make sure you're always up to date with us. Because Tech Addicts always stays in the pulse of everything in the world of cars and automobile news and we'll make sure you stay in the know just like us. Hey again we sincerely appreciate you spending time out of your busy day to hang out with us and we look forward to catching up with you next time. Have a great rest of your day and thanks for watching.